In this lesson, we are going to experiment with knife and scissor too. Knife too, then to cut free without selecting an anchor point. It also creates closed shapes, which isn't always what you want when modifying a shape. Scissor tool can cut anywhere on the path to get exactly the line that you want. Let's begin this video with scissor.ar already open in my computer. Here I have created a polygon with dark red field, col field color. First thing I'm going to do is select the object with my selection tool and grab my scissor tool. I will find the anchor point. I will click here first, then I will find another anchor point here and click. You can see on the straight line where we selected our anchor points. Now you will see the point where we have selected has cut the object into two pieces. So this is one way to cut the shapes and you can cut and have your own desired shapes. So I will undo and get back to my original shape. So the second way we can cut the object is by using knife tool. Knife tool is not as exact as scissor tool but it serves the same purpose. So let me show you what it does. So let's grab knife tool and cut the object from where you want to cut the shape. Let's cut this object from the middle and now I have two different objects but you notice that the cut wasn't straight so if you need a straight cut you can use a scissor tool however there is a other way for a knife tool to cut straight select the object click on knife hold alt button and drag and that's going to give me a straight cut Okay, over here, let's create a flower vase, put some flowers on it. I already have my flower designed here. Let's grab knife tool and cut the polygon from the middle. And then delete the upper object and now you can see a flower was here. Let's drag the flower here so it just looks like a real flower on the flower box. And one thing we need to know again is our scissor tool only cuts on an anchor point. For example, on this shape, using scissor tool, first let's select one anchor point then select another anchor point for example here where you want to cut the object now use our selection tool to move the object so we can see that using scissor tool we have cut the object on an anchor point and remember knife tool cuts object along a freehand path if you want to cut this area the knife tool cuts on freehand path you draw with this tool so the knife and scissor tool serve the same purpose but in a different way so this is all about knife and scissor tool in Adobe Illustrator to be 